This extension was designed to improve response times and accountability when dealing with time-sensitive modules such as tickets, leads, opportunities, or any other module. So first, let's take a look at our list of SLA policies. We'll go to Settings, CRM Settings. Then under Other Settings, we have SLA Policies. And this is a list of all the policies that we created for this demo. So you can see the module it belongs to, name, the target, any additional conditions, and actions that will be executed for that policy. So first, let's take a look at the simple one, which is for tickets. And I'll just go ahead and open this. First, we see we have our policy name. You can put in anything here. Next, the module we want to apply this policy to tickets. And then we have the pick list field set to severity. This is the field that will drive the SLA policy. Basically, it's considered a trigger field. The SLA log will cover that in a second. Let's focus on the pick list field. So the way it works is for tickets module and severity field, we can then select when to trigger this SLA policy. So in this case, when severity is equals to critical, we expect this SLA policy not to take more than 30 minutes to resolve. And then down below, you can see you can add additional conditions. And in our case, we have status equals to open. So basically, uh, this SLA policy will cover all the open tickets that have severity of critical. The goal is to have all of those tickets resolved within 30 minutes. By resolved, we mean that the ticket has to change the status from open to in progress. So in our case, we want to make sure that the ticket gets reassigned to someone else within 30 minutes. And next, we'll go to another policy which deals with actual in-progress status for that ticket. So let's take a look. So what happens is, so again, severity is critical. We want to resolve within 30 minutes. And what happens then is the second the ticket meets that criteria, we will notify support via email. We'll notify the support group via email telling them that there's a new critical ticket and this is the list of templates that we can select from. So if I click here, you can select any template that you created in vTiger and then use that as a notification to that support group. So next, if the ticket has not yet been assigned or status has changed, we will send another email 15 minutes before we expect it to be resolved. So in this case it would be 15 minutes after this the severity was set and then again we're sending an email we're sending it to support group you can change to send it to a certain user or a group and next you select again your email template that you want to include next if the ticket has not yet been updated to a different status we will then assign this ticket to Mike you can see the type is assigned and we'll do it after zero, which means after zero minutes of the resolution time, we'll then assign it to Mike. And then in addition to reassigning it to Mike, we will also update the status by executing a workflow for that ticket. And we have a few, few workflows created. So assign ticket to Mike and create log. And you will see exactly what that workflow does. So basically, at the time the SLA has been breached, we'll execute these three actions. We will also create a tag for a supervisor to review why wasn't that ticket assigned to any other rep within 30 minutes. And to do so, you can see again, we have another workflow that gets triggered at the time the SLA was breached. So going back to our list of SLAs, so now let's take a look at the next one, which the SLA for the tickets that are, again, critical, but those tickets have already been assigned, meaning that the status is in progress. 
and we can see that in this case we want to make sure that the ticket gets resolved within four hours and if we scroll down these are all escalations within those four hours and past that what happens with that ticket until it gets resolved so first uh, we're sending an email every hour to Michael and then an hour before we send an email to John saying that this ticket is still not resolved and you have only one hour left to get that taken care of until the SLA has been breached. Again we have 30 minutes before, 15 minutes before and lastly at the time that the SLA got breached we will tag this ticket for review so the manager can review and see what happened, why was it not taken care of. We will also schedule a call for John to call the customer right away and let him know that we're behind on this ticket. And to do so, we're using again workflow to trigger and schedule that call. And then after the SLA has been breached, which is our target was four hours, so 15 minutes past that, we will then alert to support group, alert two, and alert three. So basically, we'll just keep sending emails to support group, reminding them that this ticket is past the SLA, and then we need to take care of it right away. So now that we covered the actual SLA policies and then and the alerts. Let's take a look at one of the ticket examples. So under support, tickets, we'll select the in progress one. And you can see right away that this ticket has few activities, a review ticket SLA breached that was generated automatically by one of the alerts in the SLA policy. And then this was generated for John to make that call and let the customer know that we're behind. So now where you will see the what actually happens with the ticket is under the SLA log. And right here it tells you what was the alert and when it was executed. So that's the policy name, alert, and the trigger. And what type is so email or workflow. So you can see we triggered eight alerts and the ticket has not yet been resolved. If the ticket status would change to closed or uh, the severity would change, the SLA policy would no longer apply for that critical ticket. Now if we look at the another ticket that we have server is down and again looking at the SLA log we can see that we first started with a policy where severity is critical and an assign so we went through all of those actions and alerts for this policy and then the new policy kicked in and executed all the actions that were associated with that policy. So basically with this extension you can create custom policies based on the customer or say ticket type or any other condition and then trigger certain actions uh, either via email, reassigning to another person, or using the VTiger workflows and executing a certain workflow as one of the SLA actions. This extension is not limited to just tickets. It works with any other module, tickets, leads, um, opportunities, anything that you can think of. And if we look at our leads module, we started a SLA policy for Jamie. So Jamie as a new hot lead came in and it appears that no one assigned that to themselves so after 35 minutes actually 35 minutes before we expected to be assigned we sent out an email to our reps manager then we sent email to reps again and finally when we breached our SLA for that lead uh, which is 45 minutes we want to follow up with every new lead in 45 minutes after they fill out our web form and since that didn't happen we immediately sent a text to text or SMS message to our manager and we did that after 60 minutes as well so again 
if the if if the lead would have came in and someone would have assigned that to themselves within five to ten minutes, uh, most of these SLA triggers would not have triggered because the lead would no longer fall within that SLA condition. 